same time. Allow me to share highlights each of, from each of the teams. Let's begin in 1992. The 1992 team posted a 5-1 record, rolled, rolled UQ, UQTR 56-3 in the semifinals, and shut out Concordia 36-0 in the championship game. During the season, they scored 166 points while conceding just 37. Jim Rosenthal was the most valuable player, while Nick Clappinson, Scott Holdworth, Joel Austin, Jim Shev, and Graham Beattie joined him on the all-conference all-star team. In 1993, the Gators were even more dominant. They went 8-0 during the regular season and scored 319 points. It was more than double than anyone else in the league. They allowed just 39 points against. In the playoffs, Bishops topped Concordia 32-3 in the semifinals and beat McGill 9-5 in the championship. Woo! Sam Cockcroft was league MVP. He, Austin, Clint, Mercier, LaFave, and Richardson were all All-Stars. In 1994, the Dynasty's last championship came when the Gators again posted an undefeated 8-0 regular season. That addition scored 262 points and allowed just 24. In the semifinals, it was an 82-0 right over Sherbrooke. The Gators again beat McGill 23-13 to hoist the championship trophy for the third straight year. Ross was conference MVP and earned an all-star nod. Clappinson, Cockcroft, Mercier, Austin, Lafave, Ondrak, Wing, Moore, and Bag were all all-stars. <laughs> I've mentioned several individuals, but this was very much a team effort. I think Captain Phil LaFave uh, from the class of 95 said it best, and I quote, Our success was due to a team first concept. We played for each other. It also didn't hurt that we had several provincial side players and a few players long listed for Canada. <laughs> but in the end, we were simply a bunch of guys having fun and playing a game we loved. All right, ready? Go for it, guys. Three, two, one. Hit it.